Hey everyone, Random Frank P here, and if you're like me that you love The Last of Us so much that you just wanted to replicate the clickers and actually make a mask, today you're in luck and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's, uh, it's very simple and cheap, it costs me under $5, and you probably already have some materials at home, so that'll work out in your favor. So let's get right into it and show you what some of the stuff you'll need. This is probably what you need to go out and buy. It is called Great Stuff. It's like a, it's an expanding foam. It, it was still only cost me $3.95, I believe, but you're going to need that to make the, uh, the fungus on the face. Just like a little piece of water plastic, because that's what you're going to be using the mold. Tape, scissors, and any kind of mask. This is an old Slipknot mask I made. This is just a plain white one. They have like AC more, just like a dollar. But what you're going you're gonna to want to do is get like plastic or uh, like cardboard and put it around the face, just like this, how I have here. It looks kind of creepy, you know, standing up like that. But it's going to be better, so you can actually expand like the fungus on the face and make it look more real. And it'll sit on the face much uh, more comfortably. You see I cut out little crevices here around the neck. So it's just going to make it look a lot more realistic, um, like with the mass wise And then here you could get string or something and you'll tie it around the face. But uh, yeah, those are the stuff you're going to need. It, I know it's going to take probably around a day for it to dry. So let me just get right into it and I'll start applying the foam. Just a few quick notes while you're watching me do this. Uh, please wear gloves of some sort as even says on the can to make sure you avoid all uh, contact with the skin because if it gets on there it'll harden and it might mess your fingers up I don't know definitely wear gloves uh, do this outside it's extremely messy and you should also uh, put a garbage bag down like I did on whatever service you're working on I'm telling you it's extremely messy I, I'm not even going to show you what it looked like when I was done with this because I cut it but it was all over the place all over the grass I'm telling you it's very messy much messier than you would think but when you're doing this, have some sort of general idea of what you want the mask to look like. It's just here, I'm just caking it on, because when it hardens and stuff, you can carve it, you can cut it. So I'm just caking it on just to get a general like uh, mass of it. But again, make sure you want, you know what you want it to look like. You don't want to go into this blinded, because it's going to look like crap when you're done. So have a general idea, have a picture, and you can carve it to what you want it to look like. And uh, I'm doing this while I'm waiting for it to dry right now. It's been around three hours. So as soon as it's done, I'll show you guys how it looks and we can get into painting and cutting it. Alright, and here it is. It's been about five hours later. It's mostly dry for the most part. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's very lightweight. As you can see here, so I was talking about with the garbage bag before. Since it was so messy and stuff, it all collected, but it peeled right off the garbage bag. So now, not only is it a face mask, it's a whole head mask and it has this little neck fixture to make it look more realistic when it's on the body. So I'm gonna carve it, I'm gonna take it in a lot around like the jawline and the mouth, flatten this out a lot up here to give it that fungal uh, separation look how it has in the game. So I'll carve it up real quick, I'll paint it, and then uh, I'll show you the final project when it's all done. Alright, so keep in mind while I'm doing this, I mean, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You know, as I'm carving away, I'm just going with the overall image that I have in my head. So, I mean, you could mess up. People aren't even going to know or care because it's a prop. It's a mask. It's a clicker from The Last of Us. I mean, they have fungus all over their face. So, you can make it unique. You can do it however you want. But just have some sort of idea of what your head of how you want it to look. Carving is a bitch. Trust me. It took me probably like an hour to do. So, that's why I sped it up for you. And uh, here's a little look of it. All right, well, that's it. After about an hour of carving, uh, I did cut out the mouth there because I forgot the clicker's mouths are open. So I did that, but uh, you know, again, once I spray paint it, I'll do some more carving, and then uh, I'll show you what it's like when it's all done. All right, so for the most part, I'm pretty sure I'm done. Uh, I really could have stopped like a half an hour ago with the painting, but I don't know. You can't really overdo it with this stuff. It's not going to be really for an up-close kind of scene if we're going to use it as like a prop or anything. But yeah, I, uh, I did cut out the mouth, like I mentioned, right around there, and I put like a little red around it for blood. Um, honestly, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say to this. Just I just accented some like the uh, the bubble marks with like a darkish maroon. And in the game, their, their face is a lot more yellow than all their concept art and screenshots. So I just threw some yellow accents in there, not too much. But the main thing that I wanted to... Uh, I guess get done was this overall color. I did use a blowtorch actually for the middle to like burn it and give it more of like a cinched look. You don't really have to do that. I don't recommend it because it's kind of dangerous. But uh, once I've spray painted it and stuff, you couldn't even see really where I burned it and stuff. 
So it was kind of pointless, but yeah, uh, this is the mask, pretty much done. Uh, let me try it on. Alright, so yes, here it is, fully finished. I'm going to attempt to put it on. Now, there are no eye holes, so I can't really see, but and I still have to uh, make it so it stays to the head fully, but I can't even see if you see the mouth or not. I want it to be snug like that. I'll have these down a little bit more over the clothes and uh, have something so it attaches to your head fully. But just imagine my hands were in here and this is what it would look like. You know, I can't really see it, but uh, hopefully it looks good. So yeah, it took me about, I uh, started at 5, it is midnight exactly, but subtracting all the time, um, letting it dry, it took about maybe 3 hours to do, so not too bad, it's very light, and yeah, that's how you make a mask from The Last of Us, this is the clicker mask. Thanks for watching.